Hey guys, TPA02 here, and I have a review of my MODI JPC. Now this is a replica of the Cry JPC, which is a uh, $260 vest. Um, this vest is at the price point of uh, $60 to $65, depending on where you get it from. I got uh, this one from Shooter CB Gear, and I'll have a link down below for where you can buy yours. Now, uh, before I get into the vest, I wanted to show you one of the head setups that I can run with uh, this uh, lightweight setup, obviously because it's a JPC jumpable plate carrier meant to be lightweight, but right here I have a uh, multicam hat. It is actually not mine, I'm borrowing it from a friend, and I have uh, Comtech 2s by Z Tactical and some Bobster shooting glasses with a dark tint. And so that's just a quick little head setup I threw on just to show you guys. And I'll take it off right here. But uh, uh, one other head setup that I do like to run is the helmet setup. And this is an Emerson Fast Bump Opticore replica. Uh, I don't have a helmet review yet of this, but it is a very good helmet. I modified it a little bit and I have my own paint job on it and the headset um, if you can see actually fits right in here where the other padding would be because there would be two pads and it's very comfortable and that works nicely for me just a thing to think about but uh, the real reason for this video is the MODI JPC so First off, at $65, um, if, you, if you're on the edge of buying it over like a Condor Mode PC, uh, which is um, uh, another plate carrier around the $65 price range, definitely get this Condor Mode PC. Anything Condor really doesn't even compare uh, to this quality. This is like fly quality if you're familiar with that brand. It's about the same quality, but I actually like this JPC better than the Fly JPC, and I'll I'll tell you why throughout the video. But first, what I I'll tell you what I run on the MODI JPC. Uh, front, I have a double pistol mag pouch, and this is actually a Fly pouch. Um, if you want to look up Fly gear, it, there's two Y's, F L Y I Y Y E. So this is a multi can double pistol mag pouch, and I hold speed loaders in there just because I don't run a pistol. I have before and since I live in Pennsylvania I can't use it year round so I decided to sell it. Um, just because um, gas doesn't, gas guns don't work very well in the cold weather. But over here I have a cat tourniquet and this is not really useful in the airsoft world. It's mostly for looks and maybe in a millstone game I loosely wrap it around someone's arm uh, to heal them I guess or be a medic but uh, that's basically all I run up front sometimes I run uh, med shears and chem lights but right now I don't have anything like that on here just because uh, this plate carrier is very slim and that's the point of it um, and lightweight but I, uh, I make use of the triple kangaroo pouch in here and I have three Mag brand mid caps, which work amazing with my BFC 416. Um, if you're uh, looking for mags that are just you know reliable and uh, lightweight, and they're mid caps, mag brand mags are cheap and they're very good, and they fit the 416 by BFC, which is kind of hard to find mags for. So that works very well for me, and I'm just gonna show you here. This is. Just a regular magazine. I have a uh, Magpul Mag Assist on here and tan, just for looks really. Uh, but they do help me index my mags when I'm trying to get them out of the plate carrier. So that's uh, what basically what I run for mags up front, and then up here just for patches on the integrated Velcro panel that also doubles as Molly or Pals webbing. I have my name tape with my last name, Man, M-A-N-N, -N, and uh, I have a full color flag because I like full color over IR 
or uh, multicam or tan or whatever else. I think full color looks the best. I do have a jumbo flag in the mail. That's a three by five inches, so that'll cover up this entire panel. I'm not sure if I'm gonna run it yet because I run my PTT in the actual PALS webbing, and I'll see if I have room for the flag. But um, all right, so I guess next we can go onto the PTT, and it is a U94 style. I like it a lot better than the circular style or any other style because it has a easy to push button on the side here. Um, it uh, works really nice with the Comtag 2's, that's what I have as a headset. But um, this is a Midland version. So I wire um, through the shoulder strap loops here and the back into my Midland radio right here. And this is actually the only Condor thing on my uh, rig. It is a Condor pouch for a Midland radio. And that's just because it's the only brand that makes a pouch that fits it that I could find. But uh, the wiring on this PCT is great, works really well with the JPC. While we're on the left side here, um, this is a fast mag from ITS, I believe. And I got this one off of eBay. I think it's a, it's a repro because um, it was $17 for two of them. And I only run one just because it's a lightweight loadout. So... This is a high cap, it's just a spare. I really don't use it often just because it rattles around when the ammo uh, gets low and that gives your position away. Okay, so on the right side, as you see, there's nothing because I like to keep it lightweight. And if I was to run a sidearm for a game, I would not have any problem uh, getting it out of the holster and up and ready to shoot because there's nothing blocking me. I might put a tier 5x5 five five, uh, utility pouch there. Um, I'd have to position it so that it wouldn't block me if I were to run a sidearm in the summertime. Because in the winter, as I said, I can't run it because it's too cold. On the back, I have just a Velcro panel with three patches. I believe I have my Cannibal Bass, which is pretty awesome. I have my Elite Force patch that I got straight from Elite Force. And I have, uh, I, th I believe, a nut up or shot up patch. And that's basically just funny patches that I found. I collect a bunch of patches and I just put my favorite ones on there. And on the back, there will soon be a tier 50 ounce hydro. I'll have a link for that too, I guess, if you guys want to check that out. Alright, so now I'm going to take the JPC off and I'm going to do a little more in depth review of the stitching and the actual vest. All right, hey guys, so this will be the uh, second part, I guess, of the review, and which I'll show you not what I run on it, but the actual vest, the stitching and stuff. So I'll start off with the front, and then I'll go to the sides and the back. Up front here, there is a built-in utility pouch that I run just... Well, I'll show you just what I run in here. Um, I just run a, a Red Dead flag. And I have uh, some loop Velcro just so it's easier to open up. So it just sticks up on the top. But that is a uh, nice uh, built-in utility. It has, I'll show you, it has uh, little loops in there. If you can see that. Try to get that, there you go. Loops in there that uh, can hold anything you want. Really, like... Uh, Lighters, pens, uh, sharpies, whatever you're going to need for the day. You could also put maps in there. Okay, so up front here you have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four rows of molly on the uh, Velcro. And that goes three down. So you could use that. And the, um, these two right here and right here are meant for a PTT but I find that if you put your PTT down there then it blocks you from getting your mags out of the built-in holster here move the camera down but uh... once it, I moved it up here into the PALS webbing it uh... it was fine and it worked well the mags can come out easily as you saw a little earlier 
But uh, down here, there's one, two, three, four, five, six rows of molly, which can fit most anything you want on there. I mean, there's not much uh, that you really need on the front. Maybe you want a, a triple mag pouch on there, and that would fit that just perfect. Um, but yeah, there's plenty of room on the front. It is meant to be a lightweight plate carrier, so it's not going to have like eight or nine rows of molly like some plate carriers would. Now the shoulder straps are, I know, a lot of people's concern. Like, is it sturdy enough? Will it hold up? And I've actually done a lot of research on this um, before I bought the vest myself. And the material here is the same that Cry uses, I believe. And it it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like a rubbery. It kind of has a rubbery feel to it. Um, it feels like what you would expect it to feel, I guess. It's uh, really flexible and super lightweight. The shoulder pad padding isn't really padding at all. It's basically Velcro on the inside. And this little sleeve here that's just made of 500D Cordura. So there's no padding, but you don't really need any because it's so light. On the back, there's the same style shoulder strap. And um, also there's this little... Uh, Velcro things here that when you undo, sorry, let's get this undone. Uh, when you undo them, they can uh, hold like any size tube, hydro, comms. And on the left side, here, I do run my comms through there. And that works really well. Um, and it keeps my comm wire from getting stuck on anything. So, I really like that feature. Now down here is obviously the cummerbund, and it is the Air Lake cummerbund. I think that's what they call it, um, or something like that. And a lot of people have a concern on if it's flimsy or if it's good. Um, and I say it's good. It's just as good as any other cummerbund. It has a hard plastic on the inside here, and that keeps it stiff all the way around. As you see, I'm not holding that uh, top row up and it's just holding there very nicely and you don't have to worry about um, attaching anything that will be heavy because this is fully loaded high cap here or almost fully loaded and uh, it's staying on there fine and you actually weave the molly you can see there in between the two little strips like that and that way it actually stays where you want it if that was one of your concerns. So that works very well. And on the back, the cummerbund attaches with bungee straps. And I am 150 pounds and I'm six foot uh, one or six foot two. And this setup worked for me when I got it. And it's a medium JPC. So um, I think this would fit almost anybody because you uh, can really adjust the cummerbund in the front here uh, any like style you want it I keep it like that you could bring it out like that if you really wanted to and make it uh, make it for if you're a bigger guy it could still fit you and you wouldn't have to adjust the back but there is the availability of adjusting the back might take some time but Definitely worth it if the plate carrier doesn't fit you like it is. So, I'll show you the uh, inside, I guess, right now. I'll open it up. And here. So, on the inside, there is uh, the same material, I believe, on the outside. And there's not much padding in here, just the uh, 500D Cordura and this little mesh piece right here, just like on the real Cry JPC. There's a little mesh piece that's black up here, so it's accurate to the real one. Down here, you have a little strap with an, it says M on that tag if you're wondering, and that stands for medium because this JPC is a medium. 
And JPCs are measured by the plates they run. So, if you're wondering what that stands for. Um, the plates in here are included. They're kind of hard to get out. But as you can see, they're nice and thick plates. And they fill up the plate carrier well and make it look realistic. So it's not looking like a bag like some plate carriers would. Uh, but the plates um, that come with it are very nice. I believe they're actually fly plates that come in an MODI JPC. Which is kind of strange, but it's fine by me. Um, I believe the tag is in the cummerbund right here. Yeah, the tag is right there. It says MODI. If you could see that. I'm trying to get it on the camera. MODI right there. But uh, if you're interested in the tag, it is right there on the left side cummerbund. Now, the stitching is obviously a huge factor in what plate carrier you're going to buy and what brand. Now, MODI is a newer brand, I believe. I think it's been out for about a year and a half or so. And not many people know about it, so I think this is only like the first or second review on YouTube, but that's the stitching right there. It's double stitched in all the places that it needs to be. And it's stitched very well. You're not going to have any problems for a long time with it. And overall, this plate carrier is very good. And at a $65 price point range it's well worth the price so if you want to pick yours up I'll have a link in the description thank you for watching TPAO2 out